Hey guys, and welcome back to part 2 of making a 2D syncing intro in After Effects. So, without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is make something called Optic Compensation. And that's an effect that is pretty commonly used in intros. So let's make a new adjustment layer. Put that above the wiggle and call this Optic Comp... Optic... Should be enough. Now put in a effect called optic compensation, obviously, <laughs> drag that in, and I'll show you what this does. So if we drag the field of view, you can see it curves its way like that. Now we want it to be like this, alright. So I'll show you what we're going to do, let's make it back to zero. Click on text and click U. What U does is it opens up all of the current keyframes. And you want to find when there's going to be a drop. It's right here, this one. Okay, now click on optic. And basically, you want to move back a couple of frames. Actually, just click the stopwatch and click U for that as well. So here's what we want to do. We want to drag this around mm, here. Okay. Around here. So we've got zero right there. And around maybe a couple of frames forward. We're going to make this around 140. Alright. And then make another couple of frames forward around there. And make this even more around like 168 like that. And then a bit down here, we're gonna make this a zero. So let's see how this looks so far. Okay. So you can kind of see the effect that I'm trying to achieve here. It's kind of like pulling back. Bang. In fact, I'm gonna turn off flashes just for now, because it's a little annoying. Okay, so there's a little thing here. So let's move, grab this whole thing, move it back a little bit, and click F9. Or right click keyframes and make that easy ease. See how that looks now? Cool. I think it's still a little bit, let's see. Yeah. Let's move it uh, down actually. Let's keep on experimenting with this, try, try to get that effect that you like. Just a bit back. Cool, I think that's pretty decent. Although it's not too perfect. So bang. Anyway, yep, so you kind of get the idea of what I'm trying to go for. And to make this even cooler, once again, we can highlight probably, um, let's see, so it goes, bang. We can highlight this, basically just highlight everything and go into the graph editor and click fit all graphs to view. So it's going to look this. Okay, and I want to make this slower. So fast at the start, I think. Sorry, no, fast at the end. Yep, so make this right. Pull this to the right. And pull this to the right as well. Kind of like this. Let's see how this looks. Yeah, that looks a little better. Looks a little, a little like a slingshot, and then, bang. Let's move this whole thing actually a little bit to the left. Nah. Just this. Yeah, so that's basically what optic compensation is. It looks pretty cool. And we can do that for some other um, keyframes. We can copy this whole thing 
and move that. It may be the, th the third, the th this one right here. And drag that. Let's watch that now. Cool. Okay, now this isn't too accurate. Sorry, my thing. All right, now I've got that done. Now let's do what something called Twitch. Now Twitch is amazing. Twitch does something that you know just makes your um, intro look amazing. So make a new adjustment layer, make that above the optic, and call this Twitch. By the way, if you don't know how to rename your layers, just click Enter. Yeah, basically, drag in an effect called Twitch. Now if you don't have Twitch. There are, there are ways to get it for free, however, just buy it or get it like a free trial or something, you know. It's from Video Co Copilot, one of the best plugin creators, so very highly recommended. So, in the Twitch, we want to be keyframing the amount. So, the speed is going to be 20, and the amount is going to start off as 0. Go into your text, and in the opacity, copy these keyframes, Control c Go into your Twitch, go on the first one, click U, uh, sorry, click the amount stopwatch, click U, and click Control V to paste your keyframes. And this is just to save time keyframing. Now I've got this, obviously these values aren't correct. Alright, um, so the very start here, we're going to make this one. 9. So it's going to start off with 0 and then 9. So this first keyframe is going to be 0 and the second keyframe is going to be 9. And then this is going to be 0, this is going to be 9, this is going to be 0, this is going to be 9. So we're just going to select all of the first keyframes. So to do that, we just um, click, hold, click the first one, click shift, click the second one, the third one, the fourth one. And the fifth one and make that all zero. Oh my bad sorry you have to be uh, on one of them make that all zero and select all of the second keyframes and make them if I am selecting one of them make them nine now at the moment it doesn't do anything the reason why is because you need to go on enable and enable blur and slide. Obviously you can do color if you want, but I'm just gonna and now let's play it. So to round preview that. Now this might take a while because Twitch is pretty um heavy and takes up quite a lot. <laughs> See right there, that looks amazing. In fact, let's just copy all of these keyframes sorry all of these let's actually do it for the rest and paste that sorry about that uh control c control v control v all right and once again make sure that your values are all fixed and in fact, I'll be back after I've done all that because now you know how to do it. I'll let you guys do it yourself. All right, guys, so I'm back and I've just finished keyframing the rest of them. And now let's see if we can add any other effects. So let's take a look at the whole thing. Bang. <laughs> 